Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about the different features in the text edit panel. Once you start adding text to your projects, there are a lot of different options that are available to you in Cricut Design Space and they may be overwhelming at first, so let's look at each of these. First, let's enter some text. To do so, come over to the left side panel and click the text icon. An empty text box will appear and you can just type in your text. I'm going to type in have a nice day. Cricut Design Space will automatically populate the text and it will use um, their default font or the font that you used last. To change the font type, first come up to the text editing panel here at the top and you can see the font type that is chosen. Click the arrow to bring up all the other font options. If you look across the top here, you'll see three different categories, All, System, or Cricut. Cricut will contain all of the font options that are available through Cricut in the design space. System will pull up all of the font options that you have available on your computer. So if you like downloading fonts from different sources, they will be available there. And of course, all combines your system and your Cricut font options so that you can search everything. If you know the name of the font that you want to use, which I rarely do, I almost, almost always have to just scroll through and find one that I like, but if you know the name, then you can search it here in the box. With a filter button, you click it and you see that it brings up a couple of different options. My fonts, multi-layer, single layer, and writing. I often use the writing. If you like doing card um, making or any card stock projects, then you're probably familiar with the writing um, option here. Um, if you're looking for fonts that have that nice hand lettered or calligraphy style, then you can filter all of these um, font searches down to the ones who only include those writing styles. And if you look here at the different fonts, it will tell you multi-layer cutting, writing, multi-layer cutting, single layer cutting, writing, and that's sort of how they're all grouped in the different categories. Single layer means that the font is just one layer. When you type out a word, there's not a background to it. The multi-layer fonts will have a background and then a forefront to the font. And you can ungroup those um, if you wanted to, if you really like the style of the font, but you didn't want the background. But I usually just stick to the single layer fonts and then the writing fonts. Even within the font choices, you can see that there are different options. The ones that have an A here beside of it, these are ones that I have access, access to because I have a Cricut Access subscription, which is Cricut's monthly subscription plan um, for having access to different fonts and images. And then you'll see others. The ones that don't have anything beside of it, these are ones that are like system fonts that I've uploaded onto my computer. And then you'll also see other fonts that have a price beside of them, and these are the ones that Cricut offers that you can purchase. Um, if you purchase one, then it's yours to use for your project, all future projects. It's not you have to purchase it each time you want to use it. You purchase it, and then it's your font that you're able to use. So once you've found a font that you like, and to, to preview these on your project, you simply just have to um, click... Let's pick one here. We'll pick a perfect day. If you click on it, then it will automatically preview it here in the text box for you. <clears throat> Next, come over to Style up here at the top with the text editing box. And you can bring down this arrow and you see that within this font there are several different styles. Regular, bold, italics. Um, and this, um, these options will differ according to what font you've chosen. Some fonts only have the option to, to do regular. Some of them may be only regular and bold or italics. And so this will not be the same for all the fonts. It just determines what's available for the font that you've chosen. 
For the font size, you can adjust your size here if you know an exact font size number that you want to use. But um, keep in mind that you can also edit the font size by just making it larger by dragging the arrow here up and down if you just want to size it for a project and you aren't looking for a particular size. Next we have letter space. This is going to change your space in between each individual letter. And you can edit this by using these arrows up and down. And let me pause here. And you can see that the space in between each letter has decreased. The line space option determines how much space is between each line. So we have have a and nice day. And I can decrease this gap here in between the two if I like. And you can also increase it by doing the arrows the other way. Alignment tools you're probably already familiar with, but you can have everything to the left, everything center, or everything right. So if we click center, it's going to center the have a right above nice day. For more advanced tools, you can click here and you can ungroup to letters and ungroup to lines and ungroup to layers. This is what will this will appear if you're using one of those multi-layer fonts. If you ungroup it to letters, then each letter will be by itself and you can manipulate that letter by itself. Right now they're all in a group and so let me select them again. You can see I move the entire box. If we ungroup the letters then each letter you can move it, resize it, change it, um, and you can do that individually. I use the ungroup to letters option when I'm curving my text because then I can turn each letter to curve it. You can also ungroup to lines. This is going to separate um, the have a and the nice day. So let's go ahead and try that so that you can kind of preview that. Over here on the right hand panel you'll notice that now we have two different sections and we have the nice day and we have the have a and they're now separate. And I can pull one if I decide I want to move this one around and have it right here. Maybe add a nice little sunshine over here if I'm making a design or a cute shirt. and now they are separated. And then if you want to see what the ungroup to letters does, we can go ahead and we can try that here. And you'll notice over here on the right hand panel that now each letter in the nice day and the exclamation point now has its own little section over here on the right hand panel. And now I can turn each one of those and manipulate those as needed. So those are all the options that are specific to the text editing panel up here at the top. Be sure to take advantage of all of these when you are doing your design so that you can get the perfect design for your project. Thanks guys.